they want to make and they're looking for people who have written the scripts of the movies that they want and so no one really cares about your story or like your film they care about does your film fit my story Mm. Mm. yeah and so that's what makes it a, a bit harder which is also why going dependent and making making your your films for yourself is probably the way to go more than more than anything um Mm. and like what's crazy is that this pandemic is showing a lot of people that the industry doesn't even know what they're doing also like yeah you can't put people on a set so you can't make films so now what Mm -hmm. and and so there's so many um there's so many like meetings going on with people trying to figure out how we're gonna move on and recoup and writers are losing their their losing their jobs like crazy and so you know it's 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 all very much so in in the air which is also why resilience is necessary once you get knocked down are you gonna stay down are you gonna Mm. get back up are you gonna you know switch occupations or you gonna get back up you know so that's pretty much what I meant initially when you were looking to be a guest on a show you said that your series was picked up Am I correct? So now that everything's so crazy, we have no idea what's going on. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, which is like what's been going on with everyone. So yeah. um, people have like, so I started this year out with 10 jobs and now I have two. Oh, so gosh. it's all crazy. Yeah. However, we know that Issa Ray's company is interested in it. And I'm sure once that blows over and once things are... um a bit more solid we can return the conversations Mm -hmm. but as far as we know I have the number to the people there um we stay in contact and that's all I can ask for right now yes that that sounds a little more tangible than (laughs) what's going on how did that even come to be so when when you're when you're not when you're when you are not on the corporate side of entertainment Mm -hmm. you have to go out meet people go to panels and so on so Mm -hmm. i specifically targeted one panel because i knew this representative from isaria's company was 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 speaking there Mm -hmm. so she spoke you know it was awesome and she and once her panel finished, she was like sort of like hang she was hanging out. And mm-hmm. so she was just standing at the bar by herself and I was like, Is no one gonna go talk to her? Are you crazy people? And so I was like, Then that is what I shall do. And so I walked yeah. up to her, I introduced myself, I listed off this long list of um accomplishments and so on and and she was like oh, okay and so I told her I have this new pilot I also have a show coming out and I would love you know to um swap swap our con our con- contacts and so we swapped and then uh that was maybe on a Saturday I sent her an email with my script on Monday, and then that was pretty much it. She um, sent wow. it around to, yeah, she sent it around to everyone who was in the com- company, and that they all, they all liked, liked it, and so mm-hmm. that's pretty much how that happened. So it's all about you know knowing the people that you want to talk to making sure that you have the type of content that those people um that they're geared towards Mm -hmm. and 
and just being very consistent, making sure you stay on top of it, send them, sending them new updates about what's going on. If you have a new accomplishment happen, send it to them. Like it's, um, it's, a uh, it is a long game and it's about genuinely making connections. You basically answered my next question because um, I do know writers and I'm part of a writing group and I was going to ask what tips or what advice do you have for those trying to get into the industry and pitch their, you know, their content, basically. So more tips that I would say is to to join a writing that you trust um Mm -hmm. I actually ended up joining this new one and all of the women in it are phenomenal writers they get chosen for screenwriting competitions all the time Mm -hmm. like whenever um whenever these um new script writing competitions release who their um final list are more than one of the people from my writer from my writer group are usually chosen wow and so when you like see the consistency that you know these huge writing contests continue choosing people from from the crew of people that i work with and get notes notes from and so on it just it's it's like iron sharpening iron Mm. Um, I would also say to make something I think that people are far more willing to watch something that you've made than read your um whether it's just like one scene okay you that you can shoot from your cell cell phone um but i absolutely think that having a visual representation of your work helps people out and stay on top of the news that's going on no no know the show runners of the types of shows that you want to write for Mm. know your genre like when people ask me what do I write I tell them comedy Mm -hmm. however I actually write everything but they're gonna have to put you in some box starting out gotcha Um, you either write half hour or you write one hour you can't write half hour and one hour you can't Mm -hmm. submit one half hour script and one hour script so you have to make sure that the work that you have is consistent with how you want to with how you want to brand yourself because what it is is they're trying to fill up a writer's room of people with with who can all contribute their personal experience and our personal stories and so they need the funny guy and then Mm -hmm. the 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 dramatic person and so you you got to know like what your niche is so that you can pitch that yeah these are like major major keys right now i'm here like i will re-listen to this and write these all down to use hey i'm i'm hoping i help out as much as i can keep the questions coming i'll I'll, whatever secrets i got i'll tell you (laughs) i appreciate it um yeah how do you as an independent creator keep your basically keep your group going i would say our blooper, she stays on top of it mm-hmm. we we all so the schedule that we have is that we meet once we meet two weeks out of the month and mm-hmm. so we sent the script 
one week. We all read it that week. Then we meet up and then chat it out. And then that next week, someone sends out a new script and then we meet up and then you know, chat it out. Mm. And so the fact that I think we're not forced to meet up weekly helps. Like we still have that sort of like distance where it's not like, oh, I got to go, you know, yeah. back again. Um, so we have that one week in between that gives us, that lets us not have that feeling. However, we're also still in contact reading each other's mm. stuff. And mm-hmm. so it's that consistency that I think keeps it. And then on top of that, we all have the same goal, which is to get into one of these network writing programs. Mm-hmm. And so we're, we, we're constantly writing scripts targeted towards, towards that. So mm. Then like when, when the time gets closer and these um, submission applications start to come out, we, we read each other's personal statements or, um, you know, whatever other, other, other works that they're requesting. And like, my personal statement, I honestly thought was really solid, but they've, because they know me and they know my writing, they're like, Mm, I don't know you're being honest right there I don't know if you're you're completely opening yourself up and so they also help me like refine what I'm saying and make it so that it's palpable to these other people and I nothing is better than having other people who know what they're doing read your work and then help you yes wow I think it takes a village to be a creative. Absolutely, it does. Yes. It, um, it takes a village, especially for like, for like film and stuff, because Mm -hmm. you need so many people in order to make one. Mm -hmm. Um, like you 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 need so many people on a set it's crazy but (laughs) it's it's also you need people who who trust what you're doing who trust your vision who who you also need people who critique it Mm -hmm. um and so I think there's so many facets of the artistic experience experience that are all necessary that help it you know fly Mm, completely completely agreed so you do say you're a confident person have you ever struggled with imposter syndrome all the time (laughs) like right now even i'm like doing this interview (laughs) Should I be talking about this? Should I be doing this? Like all the time. But but I also know that I put the time in. So like every time I feel like maybe I'm not qualified or maybe I'm just, I'm just doing this to boost my ego. I also then have to look at the amount of time. I listen to writing podcasts all day. I read write books all day. I take writing, writing classes all the time like I I'm investing a lot of time into this and so whatever knowledge I know isn't some fluke it's also an amalgamation of the years that I've um in that that's vested Mm -hmm. so I get it I don't get it as much about writing. I get it more when there are people, when I'm in the room with other people who have been in the industry longer and I'm Mm -hmm. like, I'm just going to let them talk. 
I'm just going to sit here and listen.